hey guys it's crystal renee here welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining in today's video we're going to be talking about my hoya macrophilia variegata and how i grown and care for this plant after three years if you're interested then stay tuned so just jumping right into it, I actually purchased this Hoya from an Etsy shop back in November 2019. And I did a video on my unboxing of this particular plant. I will have that linked above if you're interested. This is what she was looking like coming right out of the box. As you can see, she was trailing and had plenty of leaves and looking great and she was in soil if i'm being honest i was new to staking up plants as you can see i wasn't sure how to stake her up and this is all i had to work with so that is what i did shortly after three days later to be exact i staked her up just a little bit better than i had before i must have been doing something right because and exactly one month later, she rewarded me with new growth. After only three days, you really started to see the leaves size up. What's so cool about the new growth on the Hoya Macrophylla variegata is that you can actually see where the variegation is going to be. In another month's time, she really was showing out with putting out this half moon leaf, not to mention the variegation she was putting out overall. I was so geeked about this and I was so proud of myself as well. Now, by the end of November 2020, she had grown substantially and she even started to upsize the size of her leaves. And by February 14, 2021, she really started to show out and she pushed out some peduncles and blossomed for me. Being that this was my first time, you have to imagine how happy I was to have a Hoya bloom in my care. Now, as I mentioned, this was my first time having a Hoya bloom for me. And with the blooms came sap. And I was not too fond of the sap. It was everywhere. It had the leaves sticky. I just did not know what to do with all the sap that it was producing. Even though it was producing so much sap, I still was kind of pleased with how the blooms were looking. Because I had never seen this in person before. So I was so amazed. As you can see, I did go ahead and convert this Hoya into Leka, and she just took off. And although she was growing, I did notice a few concerns. I noticed that on the back of her leaves, she was getting some spotting. And I also noticed that some of her leaves looked a little flush as if she was getting a little bit too much sunlight so they were kind of fading into a lighter green if you will and before what came next i had to do a little photo shoot of her just to show off how much she had grown for me And just like that, I had given her a chop. Yes, I chopped her to pieces and repropagated. I sold pieces of her and I kept a few pieces of her. And I potted her back into Leka. And I rooted her in Leka as well. And she did great. So jumping right into February of 2022 is where she made her first appearance after her cut in my Hoyas Galore video. If you haven't yet seen that, the tab will be up above. As I mentioned in that video, I did put a little neem oil on her leaves 
and accidentally put her back into the sunlight and it kind of scarred some of her leaves so I've learned from that mistake. Now a whole whopping 14 months later this is what she is looking like. She has been secretly doing great and she has grown back past and beyond what she was before. So I can only imagine if I'd never chopped her back, what she would look like today, she probably would be massive. But the rate she's going now, I have no doubts that she will overfill this trellis with abundance. I still keep her in a southwest facing window but I make sure that it is a little shaded and she's not getting direct light, but indirect light. And I'm making sure that the light is very bright. And this has been working so many wonders for this Hoya. If you have this Hoya in your collection and it's not thriving, I need you to follow these tips. And also... I don't even follow any secret regimen when it comes to her watering. And as you can see, she's putting out more peduncles for me. And I can't wait to see her bloom for the second time. And this is just confirmation that she is very pleased with the conditions that I am giving her. And yeah, she's putting out new leaves. And I just, I'm just happy. Now let's look at the back of these leaves. Can't you see a big difference? There is no spotting. They look immaculate. I feel like what I'm doing has been the right thing for this Hoya because she looks so healthy all the way around now. I have grown to know how to care for her. So I'm not a professional but I'm doing the dang thing with this Hoya. As you can see, the glow up is real and that is pretty much it for this video. If you made it to the end, you're greatly appreciated. And as I always say, enjoy peace, spread love, and be blessed. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you'll never miss a post. Be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And until next time, happy growing.